Good morning, it's Friday. I'm at work. It's the last day of term for the girls today. Lilia's only on a half day. They're very excited. And I've got a headache. <laughs> so I'm about to go into work. I've got a long day ahead of me. I did, however, edit my entire vlog last night and this morning that's going out today, which will be Friday. So I'm quite impressed with myself there. Oh, I just cut out a load of yawning there very tired. I woke up at about half past four with a really bad headache and I've still, it's, I've, t I've taken some paracetamol but it's still kind of hovering and I think I need to get in and have a, a nice cup of tea and a ginger malt loaf bar which I'm a bit addicted to at the moment. I just wanted to take a moment to say a big thank you to all of you for continuing to watch. There's so much going on at this time of year and there were so many amazing vlogmases. I'm not getting a chance to watch any of them. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to a good old binge watch of Vlogmases in January. That's going to be lovely. Um, but thank you for turning up and watching and leaving your lovely comments. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And uh, Dan has particularly been enjoying the comments about knitting and just about him generally. <laughs> right. Better go and get in. Get the kettle on. Get started. Get my mask on. So after a very busy morning at work, I decided to have a late lunchtime walk around the grounds. And it really is amazing how much colour there still is at this time of year when we're right in the middle of winter and I even found some lovely blossom. I'd have no idea what that plant is but amazing to see that blooming in the middle of December. There are lots of squirrels on the grounds and I'm always absolutely rubbish at capturing them on film. They're very nervous and the moment they spot you they scarper. But I, there are four here if you can see them. I did manage to get them a little bit before they spotted me and ran off. home this is going to be a really disjointed video today because uh, I've had a really busy day I had a lot to do this morning before I left then I've been to work then I've got home and I came home and we had a house full of people that don't live here so Dan so basically Lilia's boyfriend was over after school and then Lilia's friend from her class was over so Dan has literally they were just passing me out the door as I came in and he's running everyone home to where they belong there is mess all over the living room because evidently there have been selection boxes being shared out and presents being given and socks being taken off and discarded and blankets used and bears and all manner of things that are currently all over my sofas and my floor which looks like it hasn't seen a hoover today. <laughs> so nice to come home to. So I'll get everyone to sort that out when they get home. I'm going to go and have a little snack and a nice big pint of squash because I am thirsty 
And I think I'm going to open my advents, light some candles and start to get ready to chill out for the day. I think today's going to be quite a short vlog just purely because it has been one of those days. But I do like Friday nights because we always have pizza and we always sit down and watch a film together and I usually do a bit of knitting and it's normally quite chilled out. Have a glass of wine or two and yeah. So it should be quite nice. Then we just got to get through the last Saturday before Christmas and it's a Strictly final tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. But AJ, one of our final three, AJ, who is so good, has had to drop out because she's got an injury. It's so sad. So it's going to be between Johan John and Johannes and Rose and Giovanni now, which I, you know, I, I would have had any one of those three couples win, but it's such a shame that AJ is not going to be able to go all the way to the very last show. Um, but this will mean nothing to you if you don't watch Strictly. I'm just wittering on about something that you don't understand if you don't watch Strictly, so I'm going to shut up now. I fancy a bit of cheese. I've had a piece of cheese and everyone's now back. By everyone, I mean the girls and Dan. Dan's just making pizza and the girls are having showers and things. And I had some cards. So because I've shared some um, previously, I thought I'd just share with you the cards I got today. I don't think I've shared all the cards I've got, but seeing as it's gonna be quite a short vlog today, I thought it might be fun because one of them's handmade. This is from some old family friends, but I just really liked it because Robin seemed to have featured quite a lot in Vlogmas this year. Really cute. I've got to put all my cards up on my door. And then this is from Jerry. Jerry, I got your other package. Say no more, say no more. <laughs> um, Jerry, Jerry put something in for the girls, basically. And she made me a card. It says on the back, handmade by me, especially for you. And look. It's so pretty. It's such a lovely, effective idea. I don't know if you can see, but it's also glittery. That's so pretty. It's one of those cards I'll keep. And it says, oh, Christmas tree on the front. And then I got this. This is kind of a, a Christmas card and a thank you for the vlogs card from Karen. Thank you, Karen. And I think this is going to have to come out every year for the Strictly Sock Along, which is the knit along I run on my other channel, my knitting and crochet channel. Little Drops of Wonderful because, and it's really good for it being the final tomorrow. It's okay to get excited for Strictly. This is, do you know what? I think I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna have to take a picture of that and put it on Instagram. I absolutely love that. Thank you, Karen. Where on earth did, I don't even know where she got it from. It says dandelion stationery. Dandelionstationery.co.uk. I'll have to have a look at them. Right, I've had my first cup of squash, so I'm going to get some more because I'm still thirsty. Oh, I also wanted to show you something that Dan got. Or do you want to show them what you got for your leaving? No, he's covered in flour. He's looking at me. Show so, them tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Well, you can show them like that. Because now they'll be wondering if I don't show them. Suspense, it'll bring them back. I'm going to take it out the packet. So, oh, yeah, I should say as well, shouldn't I? Dan, it's Dan's left his job. Now, so you may recall earlier in the year, if you were watching then, that Dan applied for and got a new job and he starts on Monday. So he finished his current job today. Woo! So I'm sure we'll have a little toast to that. So he had, last night he was out with his current work colleagues and they brought him a load of leaving stuff. And in amongst all his leaving presents was this. This is so epic. Can't wait to show you. <laughs> Welcome 
to Cluckingham Palace. I love it so much. So this is gonna go inside the chicken's run. And if we hang it in a certain spot in the run, it will be completely covered and weatherproof. But I do have some weatherproof varnish, or I did until I left the lid off it and it dried up. So I will buy another little pot of waterproof, weatherproof varnish. And I might give this a bit of a varnish to help protect it in all weathers because this is epic. Do you know, I was also thinking, I was thinking to make it secure, I might take the string out and put a screw through it with a little uh, nut or on the back to hold it against the frame rather than letting it flap around off the string. Yes. And maybe drill a, a couple of holes at the bottom to, to keep it in place. Are you just looking for an excuse to use a drill? No, I just thought it would be a good way of it not banging around in the middle of the night when it was windy. He's trying to like, be manly. Isn't use a drill. I'm about it, <laughs> I am. <laughs> you, I bet all of you can imagine the pose that he was just doing there when he was making the manly noise. Anyway, we're wittering down. I'm wittering, as usual. 